Hey there, welcome back. Uh, as always, if you haven't taken a second to subscribe, please do so. Don't forget to thumb up the video, leave comments. It helps these dreadful algorithms um, enable other collectors to find it. And that's important. That's your responsibility. Anyway, if my voice is a little tepid over these last few videos, is that I'm doing this with a terrible migraine. But I don't mind to give you the Christmas gift of more content. So I am plodding through this and I appreciate it. Anyway, I am not a big advertising collector. However, in these tin toys, I don't mind it. Uh, there's some cool Coke banks, uh, Pepsi banks, and other assorted toys that uh, I don't mind that the logo is on there. I won't, it won't detract me from buying it, but I don't seek it out. However, in this case, um, the Star Kissed Tuna colors were pretty striking. And I would imagine in the 1950s, what young child wouldn't want their own semi-laden with delicious Star Kissed Tuna? I mean, you have to hand it to the Japanese. <laughs> they certainly knew what the kids would like, I think, I suspect. I don't know, I'm being somewhat facetious. But it is cool, the logo is cool, and uh, I would imagine probably some kids just thought it was cool, right? A tuna truck. Um, maybe they were planning for the pandemic <laughs> as a child could, so they wanted a truckload of this stuff. Anyway, what attracted me to this set, obviously AHI makes some awesome boxes for their vehicles, and the colors, like I said, are pretty striking. And I like the bonnet style that these trucks from the 30s and 40s had. So when I received this, I was very surprised, <laughs> to say the least, at the massive size of these trucks. Did I say massive? I meant diminutive <laughs> because these things are tiny. I had no idea. I thought they were going to be you know, a 10 inch, eight inch wide, but they're tiny. They're like an oversized Hot Wheels, but don't let its diminutive size fool you because uh, it, what it lacks in size, it makes up with in total charm. And now we're gonna get close up of this box, the depiction there. Now this is one cab with two trailers. You have the livestock and it's a trailer set. And you have Stardust <laughs> taking up the whole end panel. It's unbelievable. But I, I love the depictions of the cityscapes in the 50s. Look at that clear blue skies. No uh, Los Angeles smog to worry about. And now, honestly, these, here's your trailer. They get hooked on with the pen under there. That is so funny to me. It has working doors, both of them. Chunk style, solid, pack, and white meat. I would go for the white meat. How about you? I have no idea. And here's the cab. Look at that. Look at the detail. Steering wheel, dials, hood ornament, grill, lights, door outline. I mean, you know, there are pressings I don't have any of these types of detail. Look at the seats even lithoed in there, if you could see. Let me tell you something. This is solid, too. It is solid. Listen to this friction mechanism on this. This is as solid as some of the, the larger vehicles, whether it's space or just general vehicles. It's remarkable, quite honestly. Here's the livestock trailer. Man, the, the kid that got this said, I am set. I have livestock, I have tuna. All he needs is a little flour and yeast to make bread and he can survive the pandemic with no problem. So let's get the cab hooked on too. By the way, there's the hole. So when you're tired of <clears throat> driving tuna around, you just park your trailer, right? And then you carry your livestock.
I'm surprised they didn't put any animals in the uh, trailer. But you know what? Back then, you could probably get a lot of little plastic things. Maybe you can get one of those moldorama, moldoramics, those machines. They, they used to mold, actually create little toy factories. You can get one of the Sinclair dinosaurs. Imagine a kid sticking a dinosaur in there and say, man, I'm going to eat this dinosaur. Anyway, that's your trailer set. I mean, again, this thing is as charming as can be, and the construction is remarkable for such a diminutive little package. So thanks for uh, staying with me the entire time. Appreciate any comments you might have, and don't forget to thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a Merry Christmas, and with that, I'll talk to you later.